approach to doing effective anti-trafficking work needs to be grounded in human rights, and that means being grounded in self-determination. It needs to prioritize the needs and the wants and the lives of the victims, and not the people doing the work. Approaches like Nick Kristoff and Mira Sorvino, which really prioritize this rescue or savior mentality, are incredibly problematic for trying to address human trafficking. The challenge with having a rescuer mentality is that you are taking the uh, focus away from the survivor and putting the attention on the so-called rescuer. And you are marginalizing the voices of trafficking survivors from being able to reclaim for themselves their voice, their dignity, their agency, and their ability to move forward with their lives. It's important to focus on human rights in approaching trafficking and really look at trafficking from the viewpoint of the survivor not just focusing on the law enforcement response or the criminal justice response, but really help the individual understand what their rights are under the legal system. From a social work point of view, uh, arrest is never uh, the appropriate response to a social problem or a crime that's being committed against someone. If you think about domestic violence, for instance, we would never call the police to arrest a woman who's being abused by her husband as a way to get her out of that situation. And we shouldn't be doing that in, in human trafficking either. It's just not the appropriate response for someone who's the victim of a crime. If you think about the four purposes of punishment in our criminal justice system, they are isolation, deterrence, rehabilitation, and retribution. If we know that the first three don't work, you're left with retribution. And if that's the only reason that you're passing tougher and tougher sentences, I think we need to admit that to ourselves as a society, um, that we're satisfying some kind of a, a visceral feeling that people need to be punished in a, in a more harsh way. And it simply hasn't worked. We've filled up our prisons. Um, we filled them up with disproportionately with people of color and we haven't gotten to the root source of any of the problems. What we've learned and seen from working with survivors who have been arrested many more times than I can even count is that that, that experience of coming through the criminal justice system as a defendant, arrested for conduct they may have been compelled to engage in, only further worsens uh, their trafficking situation and their vulnerability to further trafficking.